What's up guys? Today we are back with the Ranger High Lifter 2019. This video is going to pertain to the post video for this Ranger and then our 2020 Razor High Lifter 2 seater. Ranger is the 4 seater. We're going to be sending our ECUs off to Gilliman to get them tuned and flashed. And they're going to send them back to us and so we can get a little bit more power and actually you are going with the tune and the tune clutch kit world's best build so Boom. he's going to be doing it all i'm going to just get the tune on mine for now and we'll probably go with the clutch kit later uh we're going to be doing a post video today for these to get some times to uh see how fast they are right now i know these ain't no race machines but they do have power and there's ways to get more power because they come from the factory tuned down a lot and they're you know they've got all the emissions troubles that they have to go to to actually sell these things so we're gonna get all that taken off because warranty is for losers but we got this wheel off right now we're uh just replaced this axle keith did had a torn boot we went with the East Lake axle. How much did you pay for this thing? It's uh, I think it's eighty dollars for the high lifter axles. Eighty dollars. Twenty dollars difference in the back and front. I don't remember which one is which. The front axles are a little longer, but these axles are pretty cool. It's free, two day shipping on all the axles. Uh, it's a one year warranty. Covers anything. It even covers a torn boot, and most people do not cover torn boots. Come to find yeah. out these people do. And the best part, they send a sticker. So you get a cool <laughs> sticker. It's on the side of my toolbox. We can find that later. But uh also ordered these sweet high lifter two inch wheel spacers from the Wild Boar ATV. Also free two day shipping most of the time. I think COVID's got that messed up, but I did have to pay a little bit of shipping. That's all right. We're gonna throw these bad boys on with that fresh new axle. And uh yeah. this was definitely needed. We did the uh outcast three inch uh lift with the a-arms in the front and then we did on the rear we did the uh just a three inch bracket lift in the rear and you notice that the uh, machine was a little slim looking so we wanted to go ahead and put wheel spacers on that thing so we're going to be installing those real quick like I'm sure all of you know how wheel spacers work I just slip over and then you mount your actual wheel onto the spacer itself. On these things, you want to look up your specs to see how much that you want to torque these down to. And that will help you out in the long run because you don't want your tire to fall off. Uh, I would recommend using a little bit of this good stuff right here too. Make sure it's not the, like the maximum strength because if you ever need to take them off, that's a job and a half. But medium strength Loctite. Uh, I'd recommend using it. it. Makes things a lot safer, make you feel a lot better, for sure. Just dab just a little bit of it on there. Yeah, we're going out of state. I'm going to Arkansas in a few days, so we're gonna take that time while we're doing that and uh, send these ECUs off and get that all ready. So coming next week. Or whenever we get the chance, we'll be putting all this stuff on it. We're going to see what kind of times we can get out of these things today. They might be pretty good, might be pretty bad, I don't know. It's just a pretty much stock Razor 1000 XP. The only thing I've done to this thing is put the uh, System 3 XTR 370s and 14 inch System 3 wheels with the beadlocks. A pretty sweet wheel setup. They are 32s compared to the stock 29.5 Outlaws that came on it. So, and then uh, Keith has got the 33 inch. Man, I always forget the EFX name. Moto Claws. EFX Moto Claws. These are 33s. 
compared to his stock, what were those? 28? 28 inch outlaw twos. Outlaw twos with the, uh, the no little cut in the middle. I know y'all know which ones I'm talking about. The real heavy, thick. DOT rated version. Yeah. It only comes on the Hollywood. You can't even really buy them like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll have that testing them today. See what kind of times we can get out these things. And then once we get it all back, we'll uh, get the time with the Gilliman. But overall, I think it's going to be a pretty good day. We'll uh, go over some of the perks of having a tune or getting your ECU flashed and tell you all the things that does just you know besides giving you a little bit more power it does all kind of little certain things what i know you probably remember more than i did uh so it does away with it makes it cool 20 degrees cooler which on here is a big deal on a lot of these players since they they run hot my fan don't come on to a 207 so it'll cut on around 180 something and that's gonna make me a lot more comfortable it, it needed that in my opinion a lot uh it does away with the rpm limiter i think this is set at 60 something hundred that uh let it go up to 8800 uh they do claim it's safe uh i believe that's a warranty deal uh does away with your seat belt uh deal on here the little safety of the seat belt uh cuts out top speed limitations that they have on here uh claims that this thing should do 77 plus miles an hour uh i mean it does a whole lot of stuff it uh cuts out all the all the speed limitations on it so uh i mean i know a lot of people hate that seat belt deal on here it's for safety but most people bypass that uh and uh it does that too so that's pretty convenient it does away with uh did you mention did you mention about the uh the cooling it does it knocks like the uh the fan will turn on did you say yeah, that already yeah 20 okay, degrees yeah. 20 degrees cooler um yeah, so that's it does gonna... away with false mist fire codes and all that too uh if you have the north star edition it doesn't get in the way of your ac and all that stuff i don't have any of that but for y'all that have a north star that's pretty cool but uh it changes your fuel maps a little bit it's supposed to it's supposed to do a lot better with uh with tank fuel so we'll see i've been hearing a lot of talk about it. I hadn't seen anybody that's done it on a high lifter. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. This thing is sits at 2,200 pounds. So that's, uh, you know, it's a pretty heavy sluggish machine. And uh, I hope that's going to wake it up a lot. It's not a race machine, but everybody likes more powers. Yeah. We'll see. But next time we see y'all, it will be most likely on a sand bar i call it the uh, race bar well we'll pop back up and show what the spacers look like on this thing i know you if y'all have watched the, if you watch the channel you've seen uh, the little walk around we did of the ranger after we did this uh three inch lift on it and the wheels and tires so we'll pop back up and show all that and then we'll head on down the fair river we're gonna go to their race bar We'll try to get some times in. We don't have any way to officially get like a real time for you yet. I think we're going to be getting one of the little uh, GPS units that can tell time better in the future. But for now, I'm going to get it the best I can off of just going in and watching the time from when we take off to the time where we get to like 40 miles per hour, I guess, or something like that. We'll let you know the times. And then when we come back with the Gilman tune and he comes back with the uh, the tune and the clutch kit and the knee belt. We'll see what them times. We'll see just how how faster it gets there. So we'll pop back up here in a minute after we get these wheel spacers on. We'll show y'all how this thing looks with that. I know it's going to look a lot better. It's probably probably going to make it drive a little different too and it'll feel a little bit more stable. So we'll see y'all in just a second. Yeah. 
gas on that thing. Yeah, they look pretty sweet. So if you go back and watch the uh, video from where we installed the uh, Outcast 5 lift, you'll be able to see the stock look, which you kind of saw it just a minute ago. But uh, yeah, we're about to head out to Fair River. We'll see y'all there. All right guys, so we made it down to Fair River. So what we're about to do to test this out with the stock Ranger and Razor, we're gonna go from post to post. Can't really see them good, but you'll probably see them in the first person view with the GoPro, but we'll go from post to post. Keith's gonna make a pass real quick, and I'll make a pass in the Razor, and then we'll both make a pass together just to see how it's like. And then once we get to Gilliam and Dune and all that stuff, we'll come back and do it again. See how much faster it gets. But, uh, yeah, these are both pretty much just stock high lifters. They got 32s and 33s, so they're about the same. So we're going to go down here and try this out real quick. So, we can get ready on that. Like you said, four wheel drive high. My cluster's a little sweated over, so you can't see it. I'm gonna have to get that fixed. But uh, here goes the first pass. guys so I'm gonna be an also high four-wheel drive we can't make this pass So we'll do like three, two, one, and then go. All right, three, two, one, go.
right, so that wasn't so bad for either of our rides. A little dust in my eyes. But, um, Razor Highlifter did pretty good. The Ranger Highlifter did pretty good. I'll pop the times will be in the video, so you'll see that. And, uh, next time we see y'all, we'll have the Gilliman Tunes in. Keith will have the Gilliman Tune plus the clutch kit plus the uh, world's best belt. So we'll have to see how they line up. I think it's gonna, I honestly think it's gonna make more improvement on the Ranger. I don't think we'll see as much improvement on the Razor. I think we'll get a lot more gains out of the Ranger. So uh, tell me what y'all think in the comments. Tell me if you've had a, a Gilliman Tune on your high lifter, Razor or Ranger, and tell us what you think about them. Uh, we're about to go ride and get out of this heat, get some water on us. We'll see y'all back when we uh, have the Gilliman tune and everything. So we'll see y'all.